Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. We have a 2007 Vans RV10 that's uh, for sale, and we're gonna take it up, show you this airplane. Very popular kit build airplane, and this is a really nice one. 2007 with only about 400 hours total time. We're gonna take you along for the ride. Delta Victor's ready, 2-6 left in sequence for a left turn out. 3 Delta Victor, Long Beach Air, have you requested number 2 stand by? Canopy latch. Roger. Takeoff to 3 from MAG, dynamic phase. Number 3 Delta Victor, left turn out approved, winds 2 0 0 8, runway 2 6 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 2 6 left, left turn out approved. 1 4 3 Delta Victor. Pops coming on. Rich. Helicopter 1540 Hotel Long Beach, Tower West Ward, Laura Prado, arrival approved and report a mile out. Engine instruments look good. Power set, airspeed's alive. Declare for a right close traffic. This is 401, let's hop on the stairs, stand by. And number one, I'm in, Mr. Call, 26 right, Sierra Bus. Pops coming up. Uh, may you repeat that, 710? This is number one at runway 26 right. Pops coming up. We are number one at runway 26 right, 710. Okay, 710, I missed your call, stay request. Uh, we are requesting right 120 knots and about 1,300 feet a minute. 1,600 feet a minute. That's cool, All these experimental airplanes, they're light, typically put more horsepower in them. In a certified airplane, they really climb. Bravo Alpha. Cessna 2 Whiskey Charlie, turn left at Fox Trot 4, not only after only for traffic control and then contact ground. Contact ground to Charlie, uh, turn in at Pretty cool. Yeah. No autopilot. Trimmed. Great visibility. If I were buying one of these airplanes, yeah, this is what I would do. Because these are, you know, they're kits and they're well, I mean, Vans is the best, you know, been around the longest, all that. But you put it in a climb or whatever, straight and level, and take your hands off, get it coordinated, and look at that. There one limit off the contact tower on 120.5. It's straight, which is really, it says a lot about an airplane when you can do that. It's almost like having an autopilot. All right, let's pull some power back. Come back to about 22 inches and about 2,300 RPM. Start your turn over the 605 for right base runway 26 plus. 4,500 feet, get the fuel flow back. Okay, we're, uh, we're out here, 4,500 feet just off of Long Beach in this RV-10. And we're accelerating now up around 100 and 40 knots indicated, probably on about 11 gallons an hour. And it's pretty much a hands-off airplane. It doesn't have a autopilot, so I'm just kind of flying, getting, getting a trim. I'm very impressed with the trim system in this airplane. That works really good. Hands off, straight, stable. It's a really nice uh, flying airplane. So Vans, I believe, started in like the 1970s. Uh, Dick Van Grunson, I believe, is the guy that started it and uh, came up with a, a design he liked, ended up making kits, and became the uh, most successful kit build airplane business in terms of volume and deliveries. I think, I think they've delivered probably close to like 12,000 kits, maybe. And I was reading their website, and they put out like, like there's maybe an, one airplane or maybe just short of two airplanes finished a day. So they're adding to the fleet all the time. 10 different models, I believe now. The, re the most recent one was the uh, RV-15, which is kind of the, I think is the bush plane. 
they're going after. RV-10, this model came out in 2007, 6, 7, I think, which is this model year. And they're essentially the same now. A uh, Lycoming IO540, 260 horsepower, and you can put whatever avionics you want in them. This one has two G5s, a, uh, I'm not sure what that is, aero engine gauges, but a Garmin audio panel, a couple of uh, comm radios, one nav, Garmin transponder. Just a nice little setup, VFR setup. There's no GPS, but we got an ADS receiver, I got my iPad, it's got traffic. You know, might as well have GPS. One great thing about these Vans airplanes is there's so many of them that there's a lot of aftermarket upgrades you can get. And you can put a full Garmin uh, G3X, autopilot, Garmin Autopilot, the whole, the whole, I mean, as much as you could do probably in a certified airplane. The great thing about experimental airplanes is you can do them for a lot less money. That's, you know, one of the benefits of experimental home-build airplanes is the, uh, the value proposition. And this airplane's got a lot of room. The guy that owns this airplane is 6'4". And he says, he says he fits in the back pretty easy, and I can tell by looking you, you can do that. 1,000-pound useful load, so it's got good utility. It's fast, economical. So I can really, you know, you can see why they're uh, popular, especially this RV-10. You know, it looks kind of like a Cirrus. It's not as big, but, uh, and the way they control, I mean, he's, I've flown a few of these. That RV-8 I flew is a little faster on the ailerons, it seems like. Really nice airplane. I flew that RV-8 cross country, and that was a real uh, nice airplane to fly. Tandem two seats, where this is like a traditional, and that was a tailwheel, this is a traditional four seat. Probably more room across here than a 182, just the way we're sitting. And uh, really, I mean, nothing to really complain about. And this, this is a really low time RV-10. 400 hours, like I said, a Matatuck 400 hour engine. And just a really well-built airplane, flies really good. Nice interior, nice paint, nothing uh, fancy, but be a great airplane to uh, you know, add some avionics to, or fly it just like it is with an iPad and the uh, Stratus, or the Century. Uh, the owner of this airplane, uh, he's selling it. We don't have it listed on our website, but you can uh, send me a comment or message me, email, and I'll get you connected up with the uh, owner of the airplane if you're interested in uh, taking a look at this. I think he's got it priced in the 280s. Good value, low time, 2007 RV-10. So we're gonna head back to Long Beach. We'll make a, we'll join the VFR pattern, make a, make a landing there on 26 left, and uh, see how, see how we do. Long Beach uh, RV-143 Delta Victor Angels Gate with Golf for 26 left. Two Yankee standby traffic will depart runway three zero. Delta Victor Long Beach start runway two six right midfield downwind at or above two thousand ident. I dent for the midfield downwind, uh, right downwind, 26 right, Delta Victor. Traffic no factor and uh, midfield downwind at about 2,000 early 26 right. Traffic's inside, we'll join the midfield downwind for 26 right, Delta Victor. 5 3, Roger, stand by. Traffic inside, 710. Roger. 3 Delta Victor's overhead for the right downwind. Uh, Correction number three, Delta Victor, you're going to follow Cessna on the extended downwind. They're about three miles ahead of you. You can descend to pattern altitude. Okay, we'll descend to pattern altitude for three, six right, looking for the traffic to follow. Three, Delta Victor. November three, Delta Victor, you're number one. Runway two, six right, clear to land. Traffic inbound from the 605 freeway at 1,000. Make sure to approach your fable. Go make a short approach. We're number one, clear to land, two, six right, three, Delta Victor. Air check 548, frequency change approved. Set approved, Air check 548. Number 340, extend downwind. 340, extend downwind. Number 7, Mike Alpha, runway 26 left, cleared for takeoff. Closed, traffic approved. Okay, cleared for takeoff, 537, Mike Alpha, for left, closed traffic. This is at 26 left.
helicopter 64 mic pad 23 or 4 clear to land.